Well, the reason I started racing, I really didn't know anything else. So, uh, ever since I was about 12 years old, uh, my father blue pit, he can race. I was about 12 years old when he really got, when he really got to, to run Grand National Racing, which was 1949. It started when, uh, I think, the first race goal had in 49 Plymouth. It cost something like $850. And at that time, my father was working on the car and owning it and driving it and, you know, doing everything. And then my brother and myself, we just sort of cleaned up a little bit behind him and tried to help, you know, what we were doing. But it wasn't that much work. But then as the years progressed, you know, the, the fellow next door over there, he spent a little bit of money and bought him a bigger car to roll or got him a bigger tire or a bigger wheel, and you got to do the same thing. We worked uh, from 49 to about 54. About 54, we hired one man. We worked. Except now we've got about 30 people working. You know, just a few more all the time. All the time. Actually, there's four people that are the only ones that ever touched the race. Oh, man. They, they work on it. I see cars built. <clears throat> if they need any pieces or anything built, then they go get it. Because man, if it works enough to be cheap enough, you know what I mean? If you want any kind of paneling or stuff made, right, they go see this particular man. Uh, he's got a machine shop with two or three boys where he did. They want to keep the ground and made the thing, they go see that. And they don't actually make anything in the car. All they do is make them pay for the car. So we've got, I think, we figured out one time I had 17 different parts. I mean, there's spaces that are different people doing different things for the table. It's not really that big, but it's just 17 different outfits that it takes to just make it. It's not only my race car, but a lot of other people's race car. Well, I'm going I do. I guess. 
four or five races. And then one day and said, you know, you want to drive for a percentage or do you want to go ahead and keep working? And I got to figure it. I said, no, I've been running four or five races and taking about $100 a race. And if I don't drive for 100%, I'm going to be losing money. And I know you weren't going to be talking about something like 20 or 30 percent of the winnings, which at that time was, was about what drivers were getting. And I just can't hardly make it on that. I, just, I think I'll just keep driving, driving the car for nothing. It's just working for me. So I guess as far as I know, that's the last time there was any money mentioned about you know, who was going to do what and stuff. And actually, as time progressed, I started to take in more money. This just gives us more money. Back into the shop, instead of me taking it like David Pearson was taking it and Kia Yarborough, I just took the money that, uh, that we won in race, a million dollars, whatever. And every penny of it went back in the shop, bigger and buying new equipment, hiring more people, and just doing bigger and better And then I just lost out around it. And if we, if we had a good year, I make the same thing as if we had a bad year. Except that if we had a good year, that just means my business is on. and getting them food and lodgings and, you know, just the whole 
ball of wax to get the thing done. If you blow an engine or even if you don't blow it, you're getting it ready and, and going through the car and putting new sheet metal and stuff like that. So we're talking about at least $300,000 just to run a season, and that's not counting a $30,000 or $40,000 race car. So uh, it's a pretty expensive deal, and if you didn't have outside help, you'd never be able to make it on the person. Now, some of the boys make it on the person because they don't operate quite as good. They've got maybe one or two boys helping them, and they buy a used car for something like twelve to $15,000, and then they run it for three or four years. And uh, they don't take in a lot of money, but at the end of the year, they think they put in thirty or forty thousand dollars and basically they've done about as good as what we've done because we spent so much more also. So uh, percentage of uh, win, the win only thing we just handle a lot more money. But as far as being able to have it at the end of the year then we're great and we're broke too. <laughs> Something ahead. 